Welcome back. So what if I actually want to start sending stuff to the backend? Like if I want to say on a post, I of course need to send information about the user so it can be stored in the database. First of all, let's have a look at what we have to do in Postman. Well, first of all, I do a post. Notice that when I do a GET request, this guy cannot be clicked. The body is not enabled. But when we do a post, we can actually send data through an extra header called the body. And the body is kind of a, a place where we can put information that we can then pass over to the backend. So here what I've done is I've said I want the body and instead of selecting the default form data that it selects for you, you'll do raw data and you'll say I want to send JSON to the backend. That's the stuff we want to send back and forth between our, our client and the REST API. And inside the JSON, I'm pretty much just adding a JSON object with a name, nothing else, right? So let's just see my server is still running. Uh, I put in some stuff here that's not that important. The server's running, so let's try and do a post here just to see what we actually get back. Got a post request, but there's no information in here. So nothing changed. So how do I actually send this data to the backend now and kind of send a reply back, a response back saying, congratulations, you actually sent some data to the backend. That's the goal of the next lesson. So now you know how to use Postman to do a post request. We just don't get the right response right now because we don't know how to pass that data back to the response or down to the database. So next I'll try to add another NPM library that can take care of reading uh, using some middleware and it can actually read the information here in the body and then paste it in to a response. See you in the next lesson.